Hi comrades, Hello. I'm bringing you revolutionary greetings from the SEC, the Socialist Worker Party in Greece and Andalusia. Uh, I will start uh, from what uh, Charlie said about time speeding up, because I think it's, this is what's happening. Uh, it was just a few years ago when in Greece we have the Olympic Games, it was in 2004. And at that time, they were saying to the people that, you know, the Olympics are coming, they're going to bring prosperity, and the, the Greece is getting into a new age. And then, it was just two years then, in 2006, when we have the ESF in, in Athens, and we were demonstrating, uh, saying, drop the debt, drop the debt. And at, at that time, a few people could think that we were chanting that, that slogan, not for countries in Africa or in Asia, but we were chanting that slogan for Greece and, and, and Europe. And now it, it's just a few years then, just a few years from that point, that we're, uh, that we're uh, living in a total different uh, condition. Because I want to, the, f the first thing I want to say is that people now in Greece uh, are suffering. The, in the flyer you were using for this meeting was saying uh, that the workers' living standards are held back 50 years, half a century. And this is correct, correct if, if we see what, what, what has happened in the last two years. So things are changing rapidly everywhere, and I think this is the first point. And uh, you can see that. You can see that in the official un un unemployment rate now in Greece, which is something like 21%, and it has ra raised twice. It was, it, it's double than it was before two years. You can see it in the young people who have 50%. The, pe the people between 17 and 24 years old, they have 50% uh, um, unemployment. Uh, just only November of 2011, uh, every day, uh, 4,200 4, people were fired from their jobs every day. So, you know, it's something that, that, that is really, really massive, and also the same uh, uh, for, for women. And at the same time, you have people that they, 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 they have to work under flexible working conditions. And uh, to get, I want to tell you what flexible means. Uh, for example, in the uh, Skaramaga shipyard, a big shipyard uh, close uh, to Athens, they told the workers that they have to work only every Monday. And then, okay, the workers said they're going to go strike every Monday and they don't uh, work. But, you know, this is how the situation is now. And at the same time, you have the wages and the pension, pensions that have been cut down something between 20% and 50%. And in many workplaces, the bosses do not pay at all. People are working for, there are about 400,000 400, people that are, that are working without being paid for five months now in many uh, factories and in many other workplaces uh, in the private sector because the bosses said, we're going to fire you, you can stay, and when we have money, we will, uh, we will go and, uh, and pay you. And at the same time, the, the, the taxes have raised for the 99% of the people, the taxes are rising all these uh, two years, and, the price, and they have doubled and tripled, tripled and more. And at the same time, the price of oil, the price for electricity, all that things are really, really uh, uh, rising. So, so in the winter, there were for first time in the Athens, which is a city where it didn't have no people who live, lived in the streets. There were 25,000 people that were out uh, in the streets without any kind of uh, uh, social care. And thousands of people still standing every day uh, to get to get in, in long queues to get f food from the from charities from churches or from uh, council or, or from Golden Dawn, which is another example that they try you know to say that they do that uh, that, that that kind of, that kind of thing. And at the same time, uh, the number of the people who commit suicide is one is three people every day that commit suicide because of the crisis, which is 25 percent more. And uh, they estimate that about 70 percent of the people they are at the edge of depression and uh, at the same same time, the, the, the budget for the psychological health has been cut down 50%. So this is the situation, and you have people who have AIDS, and the people who have AIDS, the number uh, from last year has risen 53% from, two, uh, from 2010 from, to 2011. And the, and, and the, the number of the drug addicts with AIDS have ri has risen 1,260% uh, in, in, in one year. And why is this? Because people they don't have needles, of course, but because people want to get AIDS in order that they can get a small money that the, that the government gives to, to people who, who get AIDS. I mean, they're, 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 so, they're so desperate. So, and who's to blame for this? Uh, there was, d during the pre-election campaign, the, uh, the, Pas the PASOK minister for health and, the, uh, and another PASOK minister for, uh, for, for, for the police, 
They had a, a whole campaign. They had one woman in the beginning from Russia. She was a prostitute and she had AIDS. And they had a very big picture of her, her, her face and then her whole body. She was a drug addict and you could really see that. And they would say she was to blame because she didn't make love with a condom. And so hundreds of uh, Greek young people have got AIDS and they put her into prison and they put her face in the newspapers. And then they, they, start, they, they still do this thing. They, they have, you know, they played the, ra the, they played the racist card against women, against immigrants uh, very, very, very hard. So this is the situation, this, this is what the social democratic government who was elected, when, when, when okay, George Papandre was elected in 2009, he used to have pictures of him and, and uh, uh, young, uh, you know, black kids and immigrant kids get to him and shake his hand. And this, has, this was the change uh, after just only uh, two years. And, 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 what, and what did Troika and the Greek government have achieved with all this? In 2009, the public debt was at the 130% of the country's GDP. And now is it about 165.3 of uh, the GDP? And in, in, in March they have the haircut. Oops. Okay. And in March they have the haircut of the public debt, and the haircut in, increased the debt uh, 30 more billion uh, euros, which is amazing. So people can see that thing, uh, can see what it means. And, and, and so there is a lot of anger, and there is a lot of bitterness now uh, among the people and the workers uh, in Greece. But, but stronger than the anger and stronger than the bitterness is, the, is the, the spirit of resistance that the people has all these two and a half, these last two and a half years. Uh, so uh, Charlie was saying that, and it's, it's true, in the last two and a half years, we have, the country has been paralyzed and has been shaken by 17 general strikes uh, involving millions of people that strike and uh, go down in the streets. But at the same, in, in, uh, in 2011 only, in the, only the center of Athens, there were three demonstrations a day. The, uh, the average was three demonstrations a day. That means that every, uh, really every day people were uh, on strike and uh, out in the streets. And this is, was in the face of uh, unspeakable violence by, by the police. I mean, they did anything to disperse the people from the streets, uh, uh, you know, attacking them, violence, and uh, tons of tear gas. Uh, the city used to be like, you know, in mist, in fog because of the tear gas. Not only the place the people were demonstrating, the whole center, center of the city. And during that period, we have four people were killed uh, in that, uh, in that uh, uh, violence, and thousands other have been uh, are, uh, beaten up, or 10,000 other have been uh, arrested uh, all this time. And I want to say that uh, uh, this, uh, for, every, uh, for every general strike of, the, of them, the, you know, it, it was uh, uh, h hundreds of all-out strikes uh, official or unofficial, uh, you can uh, that, that the workers have done uh, all this uh, uh, all this period, and uh, these general strikes were imposed on the union leadership by the activity of the rank and file uh, of, of of the rank and file wo uh, wo uh, workers, and you could see that in the uh, big uh, general strike we have uh, in October uh, in Athens. But then uh, before that, uh, in May 2011. Another things, uh, another thing uh, ha has happened. We got, we got a new element uh, in the movement, and that was the spirit from Egypt that came uh, via Spain to Greece, and the Indignados. And you had hundreds of thousands of people for one, for one and more, more than one month, uh, uh, together as they were striking, uh, gathering. In the, in the, not only Sidagma Square, where there were you know, tens of thousands, but also in, in neighborhoods, there were uh, assemblies of 100, 200, 300 people who had never participated. They were not you know, left people, organized and stuff. There were people, you know, that for the first time they were going out of the streets and talking how uh, this movement could, uh, could go on, which is something really, really, uh, really new. And, and, and this uh, uh, went together uh, with, the, with, the with the strike action. So in, in October, in October, uh, there was a new, a new step, let's say, for the movement. We have not uh, all the whole public sector was on strike and for, for days, for weeks. And what happened, it was like, you know, the, the movement of the occupations in public places, but also in, 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 in factories. And that was amazing. I mean, to, to march in, in the center of Athens, hundreds of thousands of people marching and go in the, in the Sindagma Square where on the, one hand you, on, on the one hand you had the parliament and on the right opposite and the other part of the square it's the Ministry of Economics 
and the Ministry of Economics, the number two building, let's say, for, for a state, was occupied with black flags and music playing for the Magafos Bella Ciao and the workers out on, on the, uh, <coughs> chanting slogans from the windows. So, and I mean, the, the Minister of Economics couldn't get in, in the ministry. And the half of minis the ministries, the state ministries, were occupied for uh, two weeks, so the state couldn't really, uh, uh, you know, work. They, 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 could, they couldn't work at all. The only thing that they could do is to bring out, you know, the police again and again and again and again. Uh, attacking uh, the people. So th this, this is this is the movement that has uh, that in two years have brought down two governments and the, uh, two governments that supported by the two largest parties in Greece that they have they used to, uh, all, together they used to take eighty to ninety percent of the votes f uh, for the last half a century. I, I mean after the uh, nineteen seventy four they used these two parties were you know uh, the oldest and the biggest and you know and, and they failed they failed they collapsed. The, the two governments that try to form the two of them uh, collapse, and not only this, uh, the, the program they had. One big part of the program, which is the, the, the privatization, didn't, you know, they, 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 they couldn't do it. I mean, all the privatization they tried, even in the education, in, in other uh, public sector, uh, we stopped them, they, the, the movement stopped them all. But I want to say it's not just uh, the number of the strikes and the number of the people and the numbers that was uh, the difference in these last two years. There was a big, big steps in what we call the rank and file action. Uh, rank and file action. Uh, in most cases, for, uh, these strikes and all, uh, and all, you know, the demonstrations and stuff were taken in, in un uh, the decisions were taken not by the union leadership. They were taken by union assemblies where uh, hundreds of people participate in these uh, assemblies. And in many, many uh, assemblies, they, they, the people elected working committees to organize the strike and to organize the coordination uh, with the other uh, with, the, with the with the other workplaces and uh, the third thing is that in many many assemblies they 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 started uh, making uh, steps towards the the workers control they will have uh, you know for example the, the, the a well known example is the hospital in Kelkis that they tried to so they, they decided that they don't want the manager and they're going to manage the hospital themselves but there are other also examples in the whole in, in the most hospitals the doctors union they have stand in front of the office and say to the people you don't have to pay pay 5 euro which is everybody who's going to the hospital has to pay 5 euro and they stop them like that also the the poll tax they try to uh, to to have through the uh, electricity uh, bill. They didn't succeed because of the union uh, uh, of electricity stopped them. So we we have also the occupation in the uh, uh, alter channel, a channel that was closed, and the uh, workers occupied the channel. And the, then this was the voice not only for them but for all the workers that were in strike in uh, different places uh, uh, in Greece. So I think I, I said all of this. Maybe you know that stuff because it's not it's what happens the last two years. But I think it's important to have in mind to understand that the earthquake that Charlie was referring to on May 6th election in Greece has to do with all uh, this movement. Without all these things, we couldn't have this earthquake because all this uh, action that that, that that brought that brought them down and it it, it, it was an earthquake. Of course, the Pasok uh, uh, they, they they've lost. The two thirds, two thir they, they lost over two, th two, two million one hundred thousand votes from the three million votes uh, that have taken in the, the elections in 2009. The New Democracy uh, has uh, lost one, one million. The left as a whole, all the parties all together, they have, uh, they have won two, two million point uh, one hundred thousand uh, votes. Uh, and 17% uh, went to Syriza, 8.5% went to the Communist Party, Kukwe, uh, 61 uh, went to Democratic Left, uh, which is a right wing split from Syriza, uh, 1.2 went to Andersia, and Andersia tripled its vote from 25,000 in 2009 to 75,000 now. Uh, so uh, this result was was a, a, a clear, clear result of, of this of this movement, and I, I'm telling this because you know there were many many stories lately in Greece, but also in other that you know it was like uh, the charisma of uh, Alexis Tsipras, the leader of Syriza, or you know the programs of Syriza of the Democratic Left were so good that the people went to vote for them, which is uh, which is not true. I think the first thing we have we have to have in mind is you know what what's what's the real uh, uh, the, uh, the power of, uh, of of the people and what they have done in their workplaces and the streets these last uh, two years. We can't explain why Syriza got the most of the votes. 
you can first of all if you see the communist party the communist party used to have in the poll before two months or something like that you used to have about 10 percent the same percent as uh, uh, syriza had but you know the the communist party has uh, this kind of policy during the this kind of tactic okay whatever you can call it during the election they were arguing that uh, the communist party the commun uh, we are not left we are communists there's no division in labor between left and right. There's a the division between communists and all the others. Imagine this, uh, uh, two, million, two, million vo two million people moving to the left from Pasok to the left. And you know, it was, the joke is, people say that you know, it was raining votes and they were hanging umbrellas. And, 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 and so that they, they got just 1% more from, from, the, uh, from the last uh, elections. And the second thing is about the democratic left. Because the democratic left, three, just three weeks ago, before the elections, in the polls they have, in many, many polls they have about 15, 16 percent, which is what the Syriza actually got uh, in, in, in the elections. But the problem with them was that, you know, from, from, from the early beginning, their position is that we're going to form a coalition government with PASOK and New Democracy. So the politicians of PASOK and New Democracy and the media and everybody was going like, okay, we won't have a problem after the elections. They, they're going to cooperate. Uh, democratic left is here to cooperate. Operate. And the, 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 of course, the workers now, I mean, so the, the anger is so big, the, so big that they say, OK, fuck off. We're, gonna go, we're not going to go vote for the, uh, for the democratic left. We're going to vote for Syriza. And they change it. And it changes rapidly. And it was uh, the democratic left that took 6% and Syriza that got 15%. And of course, of course, Syriza at the same uh, time, you know, he, he, was, he, he has uh, this line of the uh, left government. He was, you know, like... The, it was it was easy. The, they were saying the solution is right here. We we we, we will go on, we, will, we are going to form a left government. We are going to do it in uh, 15 days. Vote for us. The, the solution is right, is right here and is, a, is and is a government of the left. And the many people, you know, vo uh, voted f uh, for this. Uh, voted for this. Uh, voted for Syriza. So uh, uh, it's it's this radicalization I try to uh, describe is so so big. That it's it's amazing what happened after the elections because for one week after the elections there were negotiations after negotiations every day by day uh, because uh, and they couldn't form a government and the main point the ruling class parties wanted it wanted it the left the democratic left or Syriza because communist party has said we don't participate in any kind of government but they wanted the the democratic left and the Syriza to participate in the government they put all the kind of pressures on them so they will do it and, and it, it, it was very very good that the leadership of the two of, of, of both parties they didn't agree in getting in, in this uh, uh, in the in a coalition government who is going you know to keep on going with a uh, austerity program and uh, keep on going uh, with with a with a memorandum okay as a result of all this uh, of uh, of all this situation uh, after the elections the ruling class parties they have uh, started and, uh, and the media have started together uh, a new a new attack on the left which is very very hard it's uh, i want to say something like a cold war uh, or or, a, or a greek civil war attack because the I want to bring you an example. NEA, which is a newspaper which is uh, controlled by pro PASOK and pro ruling class, but you know, it's not like the Sun, it's a kind of serious uh, uh, newspaper, had this front page with a guy with a, hand, with a uh, gun in his hand pulling the trigger, and uh, you know, the brains and the, and, 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 and the blood was splat behind to the wall and making the, the map of Greece all, all red. Which is, you could see that kind of posters they used during the Greek Civil War. They were, you know, it was like the Bulgarians and the, all the North, the communists were coming uh, to Greece. And it was, it is amazing how, it, it, the thing is that they are really, really terrified uh, from what is uh, going on right now. But the, but the, by the fact that they can, uh, for, for, for first time, after decades, they seem that, 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 they, that, they, that they can rule. Uh, so uh, they're using the idea that uh, Charlie described before that the, the that if the Greeks leave, leave the European Union uh, or if we have a left government in the country, the country will fall into chaos because the left can't do that stuff. It's just you know people they, they, they can uh, have control. You know they're just about to complain. And uh, so there are many target. Their main target uh, uh, now. Okay, their main target now is to 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 attack uh, to attack the left. And uh, this explains, I haven't spo uh, spoken for Golden Dawn, uh, which is, uh, this explains the, the result of Golden Dawn. 
I mean, the New Democracy and, and PASOK, they are the one that they opened the path for the Nazis this last two months and also in the pre-election <coughs> period. And the, I know, I think one example about this is, you know, the, the, the connection between Golden Dawn uh, and the police, which is quite notorious because they, they let them, uh, all the parties have, in the pre-election period have uh, kiosks, you know, to give their leaflets and everything. The Golden Dawn didn't have one because, of course, everybody will go after them during the elections. But they, they didn't have also because there are kiosks where the police departments, uh, in, in the end of the day, 50 uh, to 60 percent of the policemen voted for the Golden Dawn, which is, which is, it is you know, it's like building the fry crops back in the, uh, in the in the 1920s, I mean to have uh, because you know uh, Charlie talk about it. They're 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 open Nazis. They go like this. They don't care about uh, the used. Now they have they started to change. So uh, this is one point. Uh, you know they they have the state uh, part of the state was cooperating and let them do whatever they they want. That that was for the, that, that 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 is the last two years that's happening. But also it was the racist card that PASOK and Demo New Democracy again played during the pre-election period. I told you before about the, the woman with AIDS. The other is that they, 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 uh, they started building 30 concentration camps for the immigrants. And they have started building one you know, very, very, very fast and quickly before the, uh, during the pre-election period. But uh, okay, the, the last thing I want to say about the Golden Dawn, it's like, uh, it's not, uh, I, don't I don't want to say this to underestimate the danger of uh, the Nazis getting 7%, but the many, many people that voted for them didn't vote for them because they're Nazis or because m many of them are racist. They, the, the main slogan they have is that vote for Golden Dawn be and because we are bullies, we're going to get in the parliament and beat the MPs, and the, the MPs and, you know, that kind of stuff. So many people voted them because they looked like they were very, you know, like the, if they're going to do all these uh, uh, things. So in this new, new election coming, uh, in, in, which will be in the June 17, uh, our main slogan now uh, in second in Andersia is victory to the left, but with a strong uh, Andersia. And Andersia will participate in the, in the elections. Uh, I think that the two things I want to say about the role of the, of the, of the Andersia uh, which was born two and a half years ago, uh, the role of Andersia in this movement will be very crucial for two reasons. The first reason is that, is that for all this time we have raised, and now it's, uh, it's, it's uh, quite crucial, we have raised the capitalist prog program. And this program uh, had made a key, have played a key role uh, in the radicalization of the movement all these last two years. But it also has to do with now. We, we stand for the cancelling of the debt, not renegotiation or re, 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 because there are many, many words that you can find about what you can do with uh, with the debt. We say we, we we don't want the debt. We want to cancel the debt, and we, we want to do this unilaterally, not you know after as an effect. And uh, we say, of course, that debt has been paid. Six uh, hundred two twenty billions have been has been paid since 1985. So I think, you know, we don't have to pay anything uh, more. And the second thing we say is that we have to break with the IMF and the Euro and the European Union policies and what they do. Because, you know, it's something that we have seen for IMF. It's quite well known what, what, what we have seen for, from every country they have passed. They have let, you know, like, it was, it's like a after a bombardment. So it's the same even if we are in the, in the, European, so in the European Union. And the third thing, of course, is, you know, that we stand for the national, nationalization of all banks and all the factories that now are under closure, and there, and there are many now at this point uh, in Greece. But, of course, we, we stand for, for, for working control. We say that all of these things have to be under the working control. And this is the only way to, to achieve a, 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 real, a, national, a, a real nationalization for the people. Uh, and this is all these things are very important right now, uh, especially as the U European Union blackmails and threatens to cut off funds and push Greece out of the eurozone uh, if, if if the left wins. They say Greece will run out of funds before the new election can take place. The menace of default is used to try to push the left and the working class into submission. 
but 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 the answer to this, the answer to the to the to the threat of a, a troika organized default, what you argue is is pushing for we, we, is, we say we need the people's default uh, default from, from from the people and not from uh, from the European Union or uh, or, or our uh, government. We say that if we stop paying all the interest now to the to the bankers, that we uh, that will mean that the forty percent of the budget of the will we, we can use it. To give uh, to the people their uh, wages, their pensions, and use it for health uh, and, and and everything. So this is why uh, what the anti capitalist left now suggests, and we have this proposition to to all the uh, to all the other parts in the left. We have done it before the previous election that we have we, we can have a, a program with these things and work it uh, uh, all together. And the second thing I want to say about Andersia, and I will finish uh, with this, <laughs> is that uh, the, 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 the role of Andersia all these last two years and now is crucial because of the role in the, in the, in the movement, how it, it has worked like a trigger for the movement to keep on to keep on going. So we say now in the pre-election period, we don't want a pre-election period with just you know TV and uh, politicians talking to each other from the uh, uh, austerity parties and uh, this kind of thing. We want uh, we have taken two initiatives. The one is to have. Uh, an anti-Nazi demonstration, and we call all the left parties in Greece and the unions to participate in it. Uh, maybe this will be on 9 June, uh, on 9th of June, before the elections, to go to the offices, to the central offices of the Golden Dawn in Athens. So we, we you know, in order because new elections are coming, the polls have already se seen uh, that uh, they they go down. There are percentages going down. So we we, we want to have this. And the second second thing is that we want to have a general, if if it's possible to have a general strike uh, and uh, generally to have a strike action all this period before the election. And and there is a uh, strike action even uh, in this. Uh, in, the, in this period, I mean, on on Monday, the, all the uh, journalists and the people who work in the media, they're going to have a 24-hour strike, and in uh, 5, 6 of June, they're going to vote if they're going to have, a, 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 sorry, they're going to have a 24-hour strike, and on f and 5, 6 of June, they're going to decide if they go for an all-out strike. You can imagine uh, one week before the elections, without TV, without newspapers for the bosses to uh, have, have their messages. Uh, and also, of course, you have strikes like the, uh, the Halivurgia steel workers, that they are keep on going after 210 days. They're, 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 they're still on strike, and in many, many, many other places. So we, we said that we have to do something right here and right now. So uh, uh, this is, this is w for all this, I think there are two things I want to say, and I'm going to finish. <laughs> the first is that, you know, of course, uh, we want the people, you know, the people, uh, for, for people and for workers and for students fighting in Greece, it's it's an oxygen to see you know when, when you have all these campaigns in Britain and in many other countries that we're all Greeks and we uh, have to fight this together. It, it, it's really really it's oxygen for the people and of course all the donations for the unions and stuff. This is this is very 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 good. But I think the, what the people really 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 expect in Greece is that to see you know what what's have has started to happen uh, already right now. I mean the results in France. I mean, to see the strike in the last uh, spring uh, in Britain or, you know, the strikes now uh, in Spain. Or, you know, many people were uh, here that uh, the policemen in, in Britain, they went on, on strike and demonstrated. Well, you know, uh, uh, it, it, it's it part of the crisis they have. I don't want to say that in order to support the, the policemen and, 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 and this thing. Uh, let me cl be clear about it. So... Uh, I think I, I think that uh, what we have to do, I, 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 so so that means that the, the, the austerity movement is rising. Not only Greece, the Greece and the or Egypt, they are tip uh, of the iceberg. There, there is a whole movement rising uh, in in whole Europe now, right now. And I think what we have to do is to to turn this movement into a strong revolutionary movement against capitalism. And we have to do it very quickly. It's urgent. Uh, thank you very much.